This is the Experience More Tour. This is a table talk series that we do with brands that use Gore-Tex technology. And today we're here with Danner. My name is Marshall. I'm the facilitator of the Experience More Tour. And we have with us today, Michael, Jordan, and Yoji from Danner to talk about some of the really cool new lifestyle products coming out in fall 2022. So with that, I'd like to bring on the three folks from Danner and we're gonna hear about Danner product. Jordan? Thanks, Marshall. Yeah, my name is Jordan Lamock. I'm an associate sales rep for Danner. I've been with the company for just over a year now. Love working here. Got great uh, coworkers. I uh, have a lot of fun. Uh, my focus is mostly on sales, staff education, and training. Um, looking forward to getting back on the road and spending more time in store with you all this fall and uh, spring 23. Sweet. Um, hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Yoji Kaneda. Um, I've been working for Gainer for about seven years now. Um, currently, I'm the product line manager for the lifestyle category at Gainer, which means that I plan, I get to play in all these cool products that we're, we're going to show you today. Um, uh, been, been, been from Japan, came from Japan five years ago and been loving this, this job and been loving exploring the Northwest every day now. Um, passing out to Michael. Yeah, hello, my name is Michael Tingley and I live and work in Portland as well. Neighbors with Yoji. I've been with the brand about six years. I'm one of the national account managers. So what does that mean? I'm the REI rep. I manage the business on a daily basis. Um, but more importantly than that, I wanna thank you for your time today. Um, the goal of this clinic and pretty much any clinic we do is to spend some quality time with you guys and be a resource. So we remain available today to kind of talk through it in a workshop format. We have Q and A at the end, but if you, at any time you want to take anything offline or questions come up in the future, please know there's an open door of just continue to hit us up and we'll do our best to help you out. So we're going to start with a little bit about Danner history. Um, a lot of you probably been on some of the past table talks, but we wanted to give you a little history and background. If you're not familiar with Danner, Charles Danner established a brand or the company in 1932, which is cool because it's the same decade as RAI too, which is 1938. So we built, you know, the company with the idea of building high quality, handcrafted work and logging boots. So we're a heritage performance brand. And today we continue to build boots for men and women that rely on and consider the quality of boots, essential tools to get the job done. That's an important piece of that. As we sit in the fire season, you know, one of my favorite things is, you know, this Danner boots is definitely the benchmark for most of the wildland tactical firefighting team. So very proud of that. Very cool story with that and continue to support those guys. Yeah, so uh, 2022, this marks our 90th anniversary, as Michael mentioned. Um, we're really excited to be to be involved in so many different categories um, from our tactical military boots. We do hunt, work, hike, and lifestyle, uh, which we'll be talking a little bit more about today. So pretty much anything that you want to do in the outdoors, we've got a boot for you. Um, really take pride in building high quality boots, as Michael mentioned, uh, that are really going to take you from, you know, stroll down the street to your local coffee shop or pub, all the way to your, you know, favorite backpacking or hiking adventure. Um, Got a long-standing partnership with Gore-Tex. Uh, we love Gore-Tex. Uh, I love this picture. This is a great example of uh, one of the tests we do in our, our Portland, Oregon factory to test the construction of the booties and the seam taping to make sure that they're gonna be fully waterproof and, and perform for years to come. So we always like to share some, you know, some, some history and images of iconic um, Danner boots. So, this is on the left is taken out of it, actually um, RI catalog. So that's the Danner light, the mountain light from the, the 80s, basically, you know, which was the golden era of backpacking. So, you know, even though this, you know, the mountain light on the right, you know, for all intents and purposes, that boot hasn't changed in 40 years, but it continues to be one of the top performing styles and relevant in today's market. So again, that is within the top 20 styles really cool. So as um, Jordan was talking about, 60s and 70s was, you know, uh, an important piece of U.S. manufacturing of hiking boots. You know, we were one of the few setting the standards for performance, durability, and craftsmanship. And again, as a part of our partnership with Gore-Tex, 
in 1979, that photo on the left, that's represented the Danner Light. It was the first footwear brand, or we were the first footwear brand to develop and patent the very first waterproof hiking boot. So very cool and kind of illustrates how important Gore-Tex is us and, and how far back our partnership goes. You know, we talk about heritage and, you know, 40 years later, we, you know, again, this continues to be iconic and in the, in the current assortment. You know, we still make this in the Portland factory, but more importantly, if you asked, you know, a seasonal backpacker, what's the ideal hiking boot you like, uh, you're, you're bound to hear a description that pretty much outlines the mountain light. So very cool and relevant to even today's market. Um, one of my favorite things is, um, and I've probably mentioned this before, but the National Park Service is our biggest customer for this style. Um, a lot of people, you know, this is kind of an Instagrammable, uh, iconic Danner boot as well. It was in the movie, The Wild. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff um, that we've drafted off in there, but very cool as well. We've been building boots for 90 years and we've been building a lot of cool boots in the past. And I love collecting boots from the 60s, 70s. And this is something that we picked up from the 80s. This is the Free Spirit boot. Um, on the left, you see the picture from the catalog from back then. Um, I found this one on eBay. Um, I happened to find one that fits my size, um, you know, with the midsole um, uh, degrading from, from the 80s. It, it wasn't a perfect shoe that I, I, that I would wear every day, but I loved how it looked and I love how the upper was constructed constructed so um we wanted to kind of remake this and bring it back to life so this is one of the earliest um Gore-Tex boots that was made in the 80s it's our midway hiker so it can it can do it all um but we wanted to kind of reinvent it with some of the, the modern technology that is available with some of the new Gore-Tex membranes that we can use so um, this is the new uh, Free Spirit. We brought it back to life with the new Gore-Tex membrane with the outsole that is actually a lot better than what, what we used to use. So um, in the Free Spirit, what we had was a PU outsole. Um, it's durable. It lost, lasts a long time, but it wasn't necessarily a lightweight product. So we actually um, brought a dual density EVA inside it. So we it's also, it's also long lasting midsole but it's also very cushiony and light and on the outsole b -Rum has created this new um compound called mega grip um which is which is a great um great compound for traction on wet rocks and all these um environments that we live in uh, portland rains a lot and this is something that keeps you safe along these um rainy conditions um every day all right thanks yoji a uh, couple other things i wanted to point out about Free Spirit, uh, you'll notice there on the heel of the boot, we've taken some inspiration from our classic boots, uh, such as the Mountain Light, and added a stitch down heel design. Uh, I think this gives this boot a really iconic look, uh, but also provides additional stability in that portion of the boot. Um, you've got a couple different lace options, so you can really customize this boot to your you know, personal preference. Um, and then just the combination of you know, durable suede and a uh, lightweight material there is gonna give this boot a lot of versatility. Uh, both in the city and on the trail. You know, the inspiration for the 9-1 series is, is a modern evolution of like a classic logging boot that we made in the 40s. So we call these our sneaker boots and we build sneaker boots well. These are your classic men's kind of a city boot, but it can also take you from town to trail, you know, based on that um, traction story as well. Very cool, you know, it's, it's definitely Danner DNA, but it has a lot of technology, which is really cool. Yeah, thanks, Michael. So I love the 917s. I'm actually wearing a pair today. Um, these boots feature a lot of high-end components that you don't often find in like a more urban boot. Um, of course, we've got a Gore-Tex liner. Um, if you're familiar with the Mountain 600, uh, the Logger and the Vertigo 917 both feature a Vibram. SPE midsole, which is their rubberized EVA, which is going to be extremely comfortable and supportive, but also really long lasting compared to a standard EVA. Um, I'm actually traveling to Europe at the end of the week, and these are going to be the boots that I bring with me um, for that versatility. Um, you know, it's going to be a boot that I can dress up, look good, we're walking around the city, but also uh, take on some lighter hikes as well. Um, we do have some new colors coming out for fall. Uh, you notice the two colors at the top, the bone brown and wood thrush. Those are for the logger 917. 
Um, and then the Vertigo 917, this is a boot that we talked about last season in our table talk. Um, this is going to come out with a new color called Roasted Pecan. So now we want to switch gears and talk a little bit about our recrafting uh, facility. So we offer this service called recrafting. Recrafting basically means repairing. So we do a lot of repair on the booths that we make. Um, that that um, includes things like, you know, the outsole repair. That's very common. Hardware repair. Um, you, you see that with cobblers doing that a lot. But we're one of the only uh, one of the only recrafting centers that can actually um, repair the Gore-Tex liner. So that means that taking out the new old Gore-Tex liner and bringing in a new Gore-Tex liner inside a boot. So you, you, we're also doing a lot of the internal components that a lot of people kind of don't really know that it's actually important for our boot. So we, we've been doing this, offering this service for a long time. So, uh, when you go through a recrafting service, not just the outsole, but you, you got, you got everything renewed, and you extend the life of the boot, uh, maybe double time as, as much as you used previously. Um, we do about 3,000 pairs annually. Um, we offer this at the Portland, um, Oregon um, Danner store on the airport way. Um, but one, one caveat is that we only offer this service to our premium booths that are made in U USA that's above $400 now. Um, but we wanted to pro provide this, give this service to and offer it to a broader audience. So we're, this is the first year we're actually promoting recrafting so that we, we are creating marketing assets. So people know, people learn about recrafting. We, we added new um, craftsmen, we train new craftsmen so that we can receive more recrafting in the future. And now we like to introduce a new product called the Douglas. This is our first boot that is actually significantly um, more um, recraftable than what we've been making in this um, in the cement style. So this we omitted all the stitch down so that we can actually provide this at a more accessible price point. Um, so it'll come in the mid two hundred dollar price point, um, and it 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 got uh, features from all our classic booths, and it, it's going to patina well with um, with your with you using the boot. So it's going to take on that patina. And now that you own that uh, patina, you can recraft that and bring it um, back to life again after um, hardware in the future. Thanks, Yoji. So yeah, I can't wait to get my hands on a pair of these Douglas. Um, it really combines what I what I think personally is like kind of the best of both worlds. We've got the classic silhouette uh, from some of our heritage boots, such as the, the Danner Mountain Light. Um, combined with the wedge outsole, which I really love. I think it's one of our, our more comfortable outsole designs. Um, combine that with that full grain leather, which is really going to last a long time. We've got a couple of lace options as well. Um, so this boot really is a great all around boot that you could use for work, for lifestyle, for just around town. Um, just a great looking boot and really exciting the fact that it's fully recraftable. Um, going back to that outsole design, uh, the wedge outsole, or some people refer to it as a Christie outsole. Um, ours uses the Danner wedge outsole, which is a blown polyurethane. Um, and compared with other outsole designs like this, it's going to last a little bit longer. It's not going to wear down as quickly. Um, and since it's used on a lot of our work boots as well, uh, such as the Bull Run, um, it's going to be an oil and slip resistant outsole as well. Um, great for traction on hard surfaces such as asphalt, concrete, rocks. Um, or indoor like environments like that as well. So overall, great, great design. Uh, got a color, a couple different color options. So you've got the roasted pecan uh, there on the left. That's both men's and women's. Got the charcoal in the middle, which is going to be men's, and then the black on the right is women's. Um, and within this family, we also have what we call our pine grove chukka, which is going to be very similar in construction to the Douglas, uh, still fully recraftable. Um, this particular check of profile is going to be unlined though. Um, so we took a little bit of inspiration from the high desert area between Mount Hood and Central Oregon and, and wanted to create a, a lightweight, breathable option of this boot that is still fully recraftable. So um, for those that like the Chuck, this is a great, great aesthetic and a really comfortable boot. Couple, couple different color options. Again, rusted pecan and charcoal. Uh, and for right now, this is a men's only boot. Just wanted to point that out. Um, so switching gears a little bit, you know, Yoji was talking a little about recrafting and what that really means. Um, how does it actually work? So this is a, just a quick snapshot of one of our uh, order forms 
um, you can find on danner.com slash boot recrafting. Um, we'll share a link to that in the chat. Um, but essentially, this is uh, one of the ways that you can go on and, and order or make sure that you've got a boot and select a package to, to get your boot recrafted. And the, the packages range, you know, you've got four different options from the basic resole all the way up to a full rebuild. Um, so this is a, one of the ways that you can uh, go about ordering a, a resole. Um, you can also feel free to call or email us, chat with us. Um, we're also working on an update to our website as well to, to make this whole user experience a little bit more efficient. Sweet. Thanks, Jordan. So um, we could go into a little bit of the details of how we actually recraft these shoes. So um, as you can see on some of these photos, uh, we do have to take out some of the stitchings to go into that internal component. Um, it, sometimes we even take out the outsole to go into the components. It depends on the boot. And we also do um, stitch restitching where where the stitching popped out. So we do all these services that other um, repair centers don't actually offer. So that's that's some of the great things that we do. Um, how this is a picture of us actually taking out the Gore-Tex liner to actually recraft that. Um, this is um, us also taking apart the outsole and putting a new outsole on. We have to buff off the edges so that um, the the upper and the outsole is also aligned together. Um, so th there's there's certain process that we take in order to actually just repair the soles and also do the upper as well. So, um, and one of the important things that we do is also that uh, the fact that we we change the hardware, we also um, try to help condition the boot. Um, it's also important to for the for the for the users to actually condition the condition the boot periodically. But um, we also do uh, take care of good, take good care of the boot um, when we. Act, do the recrafting so that it it comes out finished and looks um really nice again. So that's that's something that we do. Uh, we take pride on doing something like this and um giving to giving the service to more broader consumer is something that we're looking forward to do. Thanks, Danner. Thanks, Yoji, Michael, and Jordan. It's really neat to see a tour of some of these lifestyle products. Um, they're really, I feel like going to be amazing products and uh something that you could wear at work all day, wear it for years and recraft it and, and keep it going. Um, you know, when we talk about durability and longevity, you know, Gore-Tex is very focused on creating durable products. And what that tra translates to is ha having a longevity of product. So when we look at durability, uh, we look at it through two different lenses. And I think Danner does this as well and does it really well. We look at physical durability. So how can we create technologies that integrate into the Danner product that are going to be uh, last the long haul. They're going to last through all the knocks and the flexes and um, the heat and the cold that you're going to expose your footwear to. And we want to create technologies that integrate in that are going to have physical durability. But we also look at emotional durability. Um, how can we sync up with products that have that create that emotional durability, right? Danner and, and Yoji's team is, is looking very closely at choosing colors or types of leathers that really let us bond with the footwear that, that we're wearing, you know, that, that patina that, that generates over time, those scratches from that one particular uh, thorn bush that you rubbed up against, you know, on that one hike. And it's nice, it's fun to have them into the shoes over time. And we don't want to give those up um, and being able to recraft the shoes and, and keep that, 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 that real emotional uh, bond you have with your products rolling for years after year. You know, it all kind of comes down to this. When we make a product, when Danner makes a product, there's a there's an initial footprint that goes into that product. Um, we know what that footprint is through what's called a life cycle assessment. We can take a look at products that use Gore-Tex technology and analyze what that initial footprint um, cost is to create that product. We want to take that initial footprint and amortize that over the years um, of use. So if you only use your shoe for one year, well, that footprint gets all sort of used up in that first year. But if you can extend that to 20, you can take that initial footprint, divide it by 20, um, and, and really you know, amortize and stretch that out. So the goal here around durability is to keep these shoes uh, lasting and, and going. And that recraft program is a big part of that. Um, you know, After five years, if your sole is worn down, let's not give up on the shoe, right? Let's resole it. Let's keep it in service um, and that recraft program that Danner is, is working with or creating 
and running is a big, big part of that. And it's super exciting to see the focus going into this recraftability. You know, it's not just a, a certain shoe here and a certain shoe there, but soon we're going to see many shoes, if not all of them, in, uh, have the ability to be recrafted um, into the future. And that's going to be the key to, to again, amortizing that initial footprint um, over the years. You know, so we think about the way Gore-Tex is uh, integrated into the shoe. Well, that is a component that can be recrafted as well. Um, so, you know, Danner is creating the Gore-Tex booties and recreating them to go to be, be able to reinstall in that recrafting program. And that doesn't happen by accident, right? That's not just a retrofit. That's an intentionality in the initial design that goes into the shoe. In fact, Yoji, I, I did want to ask you, I'm kind of curious, you know, so what, what kind of intentionality, what do you have to think about when you are creating um, a new style to make it recraftable, especially through the lens of a, a Gore-Tex booty inside there? Yeah, thanks for the question, Marshall. Um, so that, that's a great question because we need to figure out how to make boots really durable, but also figure out a way to disassemble the pieces so that we can access the internal components. So these are two contradictory things that we need to combine. Um, so we do need to be intentional when we're designing uh, products like this. So we started this journey maybe three years ago to actually start um, um, designing how we can make this um, Gore-Tex liner accessible. Um, we usually um, access the Gore-Tex liner from the bottom for our stitch down boots. Um, that is, that is um, our traditional um, method of creating Danner boots. Um, but for this one, because we wanted to have it cemented on the bottom um, of the outsole, um, we, we, we figured out a new way to actually access the Gore-Tex liner from the top. So we have this stitching on the top which connects the Gore-Tex liner inside. And there's so much glue in shoes. Um, we use too much glue in shoes, um, but we, we eliminated a lot of this glue so that we can actually just stitch the top and cement the bottom so that we can actually pull out the Gore-Tex liner so that it's actually accessible for the recrafters to go inside. So it does need to be intentional. That's fascinating and uh, neat to see that you're putting a lot of your efforts into that. Um, and I'm sure that's going to, uh, we're going to see more of, of the Danner product line include recraftability into the future now that uh, you're learning a, a, as you go on how to best incorporate this into sh shoes. So thanks for that. Um, you know, and, and, and I can't wait to see what's coming. So um, with that, we're going to wrap this up. Uh, we really appreciate having you watch with us today. I want to thank Michael Yoji and Jordan and Danner team for joining us and making awesome products with Gore-Tex technology. Um, from behalf of the, of the Table Talk series and Experience More Tour, thanks for watching and uh, be sure to check out our other videos on YouTube.